a complicated world, uh, both here at home in our world and even as a season of the world. You were mentioning about keeping that positive attitude in practice, uh, but what's being worked on at least this week to avoid some of those mistakes that if it's not one if it's not one slip up, if it's not one distraction, it almost seems like the soccer gods have almost everything against us. But you guys have your heads held up high and you just and you guys keep working because there's a reason that the team does have eleven points. And it's just something that a, a, a lot of people just don't yeah, I mean, um, if we go to stats, of course, we've been having a horrible, horrible season. But these past couple of games that we've lost, we've played really good. We've been dominating. We've been dominating teams. But, of course, some small mistakes or some distractions always happen. And it's, I feel it's part of the game. But it's something we've been working on and something throughout the week we've been focusing on, trying to figure out new ways, a new game plan to be able to compete with what we have, compete with what we need to compete against Miami, an upcoming team, which is a really good team. And overall, just having that positive mentality of trying to figure new ways out, trying to find a new plan, trying to find new tactical um, things that we need to work on is helping us right now because we can't afford to be with our heads down because that's not going to help us or take us anywhere. And I guess my last question here, No, um, the the older guys, like I said, they've, they've been a big, big help to me in adapting to this new um, position. Um, like I said, they don't shame anything that I do wrong because they know it's not my natural position. Uh, on the contrary, they help me. They help me fix those mistakes that I've done because they have more experience in the game. And I always take it in, the, uh, in a positive way, in a good way, every time they scream at me or... They tell me something harsh. I know it's because it's for my own good, and I'll, I never take it personal. So everybody like Juan David, Jose, Tyler, that they've been on the game for way longer than I have. Um, they've all helped me adapt and give me confidence, and they've all helped me better improve my game. Do you, you were mentioning there how you know some of the how the come off and the My question to you is, one of the things that Kelly steals from the, from the team this season has been when, um, when the opposing team kind of parks the bus, quote unquote, you know, they, they allow a team to kind of get the possession, but once they get outside of the 18 yard box, it seems like the, the team is unable to generate something inside, so they're kind of forced to shoot from the outside. That was the, the biggest key, I think, in this against Orange County FC. As somebody who plays naturally in, in a more attacking oriented position, what do you think that the, the team needs to be able to overcome opposing teams that run on that kind of uh, tactics against Forest? Yeah, um, as you mentioned, the teams have been um, dropping uh, down all the way to the 18, and for there's a reason for that. Like I said, these past couple of games, the results haven't been what I wanted, what we wanted. But teams know and they respect us some, somehow, somehow, somewhat, because they're dropping down even at their own home field, because they know how dangerous we can be if they don't fix their game plan, they don't adapt to our game plan. So of course it's difficult when 
almost 11 other players are in the box and there's not really anything much you can do but shoot and crosses this is what i think we're missing more crosses inside the box although we don't have that height in our offensive us offensively but i feel like just shooting more crossing the ball more is going to make teams spread out or come up and that's when we can really penetrate through the middle and create some sort of um, dangerous attack inside the box